right, I'm going to show you the different configurations of the Seal Tech drone. This is a, we're going to start with a, the 3D print only, and this is with PC TPE. So and then I'm going to change this out and put just a carbon fiber, a 2 mil frame, and the 3D printed bumper. And then lastly, we'll try it with the full carbon fiber frame. All right, here's my first configuration, and this one is 100% 3D printed, and I'm using um, PC TPE for this. Uh, it's very flexible. It's not as flexible as TPU, but you can see that there's definitely some bend in there. And that's why I put these arm extensions on here, because this was just way too flexible uh, without it. So now it's a little stiffer having these on here. So the whole thing is I'm going to test it using this. Um, I've crashed it once and it holds up well again it's like tpu so it's kind of like rubber so it's it won't break easy i had carbon fiber on my previous one for the propeller guards and i didn't realize it until i took it apart that they had actually broken so those do break having a carbon fiber and we'll see if these do any better so i was going to try it with these recon fpv motors but uh one of them started smoking so i figured I'm not going to use them at all. I'll go back to the Eco 2, Emax Eco 2s, and that's what we're running in here. And just to go around it, I have a Diatone Mamba flight controller. This is the Wi-Fi one. And I have a Speedy B uh, TX800, and I'm running Betaflight on it. Cameras, I just have a Runcam Phoenix with an ELRS receiver. And I'll be using 4S and a 1500 milliamp hour battery. That's pretty much it. It's nothing. It's not much to it. I just wanted to see if, um, just starting out again. This is the first video for this, is we're going to try the 3D print one, and then I'm going to replace this board and these with just a carbon fiber CNC board, and it's using the same files, but I'm going to um, CNC it instead of that, instead of 3D printing it, and then the last one will be all carbon fiber, and we'll see how the three run. And my thing is, if I can run it just off of the 3D print, which it shouldn't fly too good because, again, it's flexible. But let's say all you have is a 3D printer, you wanted to build one, you didn't feel like CNC in something, but you wanted to build your own, print your own, this may be possible. We'll run it with this GoPro Hero 7, and uh, we'll see if the video looks okay, then it might be all you need. And, of course, there's going to be people out there that say you need a very stiff board on top I um, 100% agree with them but again this is for testing purposes and I'm sure the gyro uh, black box data is going crazy in there but if it flies it flies I'll check the motor see if it's hot and um, we'll go from there all right that's enough talking let's get in the air now we're ready start them up I'm in angle mode I didn't do any pit tuning, just a standard beta flight. Let me make sure that my camera's recording. Yep. Okay, we'll fly it around, see how it does. Again, this is to be used as a center whoop. So if it flies all right with this configuration, I'm happy. It shouldn't fly that good because um, it's loose, but it seems like we're doing it. Got the 800. Eight hundred milliwatt transmitter on it. So we can see if we can take it around the house. Just fine. Still got good reception. Go down this way this time. I 
And I'm not seeing a lot of shake in my camera in the FPV like I thought I would. It's actually pretty smooth. Again, I thought the gyro data would be really bad, but doesn't seem to be doing bad at all. Let's go around these trees a little bit. Let's grab a little speed. I will flip it into Horizon here in a second. Just to see if we can do any maneuvers with it or will it uh, act crazy. In Horizon mode. Again, this stock tune, I don't even think I put the um, Cinewoop tune on it. Let's see if I can do a roll. Oh, oh, something broke. Let's go see what happened. It seemed like a prop just flew off for no reason. Okay, just doing a quick inspection after the crash. Uh, what we'll see here is it looks like my, well, my prop came off. Uh, I'm not sure why, it just made a sound and then just popped off. Uh, I'll put another one on there and try it out. It might have been an older prop that I had on here. Uh, who knows for now. But it obviously didn't hit anything. Um, nothing's close. Uh, didn't even have it try to flip or anything. So it just, it happens. You have props, you have motors, and sometimes they break. So I'll put another prop on here when I test uh, with the carbon fiber frame. But as for just having the 3D printer frame, I would say it was a success. If my video came out smooth and it seemed to run smooth in my goggles, so that's telling me that it's not running too bad on the gyro. On the gyros, I'm sure it's not perfect at all, and I'm sure it looks really a mess, but it did fly. And this is, again, without any tuning. This was straight out the box straight loading beta flight and seeing if it will fly all right that's it for this one i'm going to break this down uh see and see the uh carbon fiber frame put it back in the air and see if it does any better or the same it should do better but we'll see all right if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time thanks for watching